Hey Cancers, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Happy Cancer season, you guys. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday to those of you who will celebrate your birthday as well. Okay, here we go. Cancers, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Cancers this week? What do they need to hear and know for this week? Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Okay, the cards are popping out. We have the moon, your energy, okay? We have the three of wands that just flipped out in reverse. Okay, and okay, okay. We have the page of swords, and this card wanted to fly out, the seven of wands. So we'll put that seven of wands right there by the candle, honey. We have Scorpio's energy at the bottom of the deck, the tower, kaboom. Okay, what is this, Cancers? Let's show you the cards again. We have that moon here. Something is or has been kept hidden from you. Something has been kept in the dark, okay? And something is about to be revealed, okay? When you have the three of wands in reverse, it's like someone is like they have been waiting on their ships to come in, but now the ships are in, okay? This indicates longing, waiting, waiting for the right timing, someone at a distance possibly for some of you, okay? So when it's in reverse, it's like no longer waiting. The ships are coming in. The ships are here. They're at the, the dock, the bay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's no longer waiting for the right timing. Someone is watching, spying with the page of swords. Someone is watching the situation very closely. Now, always remember, this could be you or your person's energy. I could be picking up, as I always say. The stories could be flipped or reversed. So please put the characters where they go for your personal situation. And I'm starting to see that I have to remind you guys that not every week will the story resonate. Okay, so this may or may not be your current situation. So <clears throat> again, please keep that in mind and don't force the story to fit. But yes, I am seeing that there was something hidden or has been hidden. Deep, passionate emotions as well is the energy of the moon. Cancerian energy. Lots of emotions. Someone tired of waiting. Someone is feeling impatient. When I see this page of swords, I'm getting almost like an impatient type of energy here where someone is wanting information, wanting to talk or wanting to hear from someone when you get the page of swords energy. So let's see what this is because look at, look at this. Someone is a bit stubborn. Who is this person? This fighter? Some, somebody wants to fight. <laughs> and when I say fight, I mean like someone wanting to fight for you, you wanting to fight for someone Okay, there could be a guard up as well is the energy of the seven of wands. So let's let's get into it. What is this? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What is this energy? Because with that tower, it's like something powerful happens or a powerful realization. Uh, this, this could be a move as well. <clears throat> I feel like you're going to find out. Let me say this because I, I feel this coming through. You may find out some information that you've been waiting on for a while <clears throat> that have been kept from you. Something had been guarded very heavily, a heavily guarded secret or some, someone's emotions were very heavily guarded. And you're about to find something out, Cancers, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Show me that. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Ace of Pentacles just popped out. Yeah. What is this moon? Woo. Okay. The cards are flying out. Five of pentacles, the nine of wands, that tower just flew out. Eight of swords is here. <clears throat> yes, someone has been overthinking the situation. Like I said, someone guarding this big decision. Ace of pentacles, something big is coming in, you guys. And if you switch this around... Um, for a career reading, I'm seeing a cancer, maybe you were fed up of waiting on a, uh, a position or waiting for something to happen. Maybe you've been applying 
to a lot of jobs, you guys. And something, a big offer, something is coming in. Okay, five of pentacles where you felt like you weren't getting paid enough. You weren't getting recognition. Okay, feeling like you were nickel and diming it with the five of pentacles. And something has been stressing you out. Or you may have felt like giving up. Okay, with the nine of wands energy. And then boom, something comes out of nowhere. A big offer, a big move. Okay, remember I said so this could be a big move when you get the tower. Three of wands, no longer waiting. You find something out. Okay, so that's for those of you who are not dealing with a love situation. Just a side note, getting back on love, <clears throat> whatever has been happening behind the scenes, honey, it's about to come out. The tower brings a big explosion. Someone cannot, <clears throat> can no longer remain guarded. That's what I want to say. Feeling left out in the cold. They're coming in with a big offer, you guys. Okay. <clears throat> and I feel like you will not see this coming. Let me drink my water. My throat has been a little dry this morning, you guys. As always. <laughs> Have to keep the throat moisturized. Okay, what is this tower? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Show me this tower. Show me this tower, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What is this? Magician, Gemini's energy is here. Someone manifesting what? Knight of Swords coming in very quickly. I, I'm feeling an urgency here. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords and what else? The sun. Something is going to make you very happy. Leo's energy is here and Gemini. Scorp and Cancer, okay? Those are the major arcanas out so far. Something is going to come in that's going to make you very happy. What is that sun card? What is that? Woo, six of cups, yeah. Past life soulmate, soulmate energy all over this, you guys. Kindred spirits, what is this, six of cups? Yeah, something you've been desiring. Nine of cups, absolutely. Something that will bring some type of emotional fulfillment, Cancers. What is this three of wands reverse? Three of wands reverse for Cancers. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Three of wands reversed. Show me. Three of wands reversed. Ooh, okay. Okay. Three of wands reversed. <laughs> Lovers, Gemini energy. Some of you dealing with the Gemini, maybe it's in your chart or uh, you are dealing with a person who has it in their chart, okay? Because Gemini's energy is out here twice. And when you think of Gemini's energy, Gemini's energy is fast moving because they're ruled by Mercury, okay? Mercury is the messenger, okay? So Gemini's are the messengers of the Zodiac, meaning messages coming in, things are moving quick, Okay? Wow, that mercurial energy is fast moving energy, you guys. So no more waiting. Three of wands reverse. We get Gemini's energy with the lovers. Something coming in, someone expressing this. Someone has been thinking about this. Nine of swords, okay? Three of wands reverse. Show me, divine spirit, holy spirit. What is this three? Okay, three of wands reverse. Chariot, your energy, Cancer, is wow, some of you, are you eloping? Y'all, I don't know. Are you getting married this month? Somebody is getting married this month. Someone is moving. Wow. You could be moving for love or someone is moving toward you for love. I'm telling you, someone is coming in fast. The energy of the chariot, your major arcana is fast moving energy. I say it and the card flips out. Show me one more for this. Th okay, three of wands reverse. Something fell out. Hold on. Okay, some of you dealing with the Virgo. Virgo's card just shout out. What do we have here? Look at that page of cups, knight of pentacles. Yes. Someone could be apologizing for moving slow. Telling you that they had to go slow. Telling you that they had to wait on something. Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the deck. If you know the cards, then you know that energy. Someone was in hermit mode or has been in hermit mode. Wow. Feeling very conflicted. Five of Wands. This person could have been going through a lot, trying to figure out a lot, confused about a lot. 
Yeah, three of pentacles could have been uh, related to living, okay, living situations or work issues as well with the three of pentacles, building, okay, trying to figure out how to bring this together, fighting with the third party, third party in any way, not just with another lover, you guys. Remember, third parties can be any situation coming in between the two of you. So someone has been held up or conflicted with a third party situation. Could have been a divorce or separation, justice. Someone held up by a Libra, okay? When you get the justice card, 10 of swords, an ending. Yeah, someone going through a divorce, you guys. That has been a third party or a source of stress, okay? Someone needing to divorce a family as well. We had a card that flipped over, seven of swords. Someone could be sneaking away from someone or planning in secret. Someone's been planning in secret, seven of swords with the hermit, researching in secret, planning in secret, okay? Uh, making moves in silence, okay? What's this page of swords? Divine spirit, Holy spirit, show me. What's that spying energy? Page of swords, okay? One flipped over. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the page of pentacles is so cute to me. Page of pentacles, okay? So now we have two pages. Okay, whoa, Aquarius just popped out. Lots of major arcanas here. Yeah, with the star card, oh my goodness. What is this page of swords? Yes, what is that? Eight of pentacles in reverse, you guys. I feel like someone, they felt very inadequate. This is what I'm feeling, you guys. Someone felt like, like oh my gosh, like I have so much to work on. I'm not feeling confident. I need to step up. I need to fix some things because I see cancer as the star. Cancer is my wish, right? Page of pentacles. I'm feeling like a page. I'm feeling like I don't have much to offer. If you notice, we have three pages on the board. Let me show you. Page of cups, page of pentacles. And I showed you at the beginning, the page of swords was the first one to come out. So someone has been feeling very inadequate possibly for what they have to offer you or what they have to bring to this situation or this connection. Someone seeing you, like I said, as the star, but feeling like they don't possibly have enough money or they could have lost a job. Someone could uh, still be in school or trying to finish classes or trying to work on something or possibly just trying to work on themselves, their self-confidence, their body. They may struggle with body image. I'm, I'm getting that energy as well. Someone may not feel like they're in shape enough or they may not feel adequate enough when it comes to, you know, where they are mentally or emotionally. They feel like there's a lack. Yeah, someone is working very hard. Show me that eight of pentacles in reverse, please. Eight of pentacles in reverse, divine spirit, holy spirit. Ooh, okay, what do we have? That king of swords, yeah. They wear a good mask, honey. They wear a good mask. They don't show you this side of themselves. That's why you may not know all of this, okay? Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. They have felt insecure, you guys. When you get the Knight of Cups in reverse, insecure about offering a love cup, okay? What else do we have? Seven of Pentacles. This is why you've been waiting. Uh-huh. This is why this person has had you waiting or you have felt like this person has been stalling. They have been stalling on purpose. This is what this shows me because this person is under stress. We see the nine of swords again at the bottom of the deck. This person is stressed out at a distance from you, longing, waiting. Yes, look at that. And we see the king and queen of wands, you guys. The king and queen of wands. Wow. Wow. This person is so passionate about you. Look at that. They see you as their divine counterpart, perfect match for them. Okay. Five of cups with the king of pentacles. There's, I'm telling you, there's a source of insecurity here. Okay. With regrets from the past, you guys, this person regrets a lot. Five of cups. Okay. Right here. King of pentacles. This person does want stability with you, want, wanting something more stable with you, right? But this person has insecurities that they need to work on. Feeling like, man, if I don't step up or if I don't 
fix these issues within myself, I will be not, I will be not, Lord, help me. Help me to talk, Lord. <laughs> I will not be an adequate partner for cancer. If I don't fix my issues, I will not be able to start something with cancer. That's what this person is feeling. That's what they're thinking. Seven of Wands. Why is that here? Because that card has flew out at the beginning. Seven of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Woo! Yeah. Why is this per... Uh-huh. Yeah. Ten of Swords. Yeah. Okay. Before I can even answer. Okay. Why is that Seven of Wands here? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. This person... That I'm telling you, you guys, this person deals with a lot of insecurities. Two of Pentacles. I don't know what to do. I'm figuring things out. This is a source of their, their stress right here. Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. I'm not sure where this is going. Three of Pentacles. Can it be worked out? I'm trying to end a long-term situation or I'm trying to end a job that I've been on forever that is not leading anywhere. I'm, you know, I'm not satisfied with where I live. I'm not satisfied with my money. You know, I'm not, these are all of the insecurities that I'm picking up from this person. And these are the things that they don't show you. That's the blockage, you guys. These are the things that they don't show you that they have a lot of stress surrounding financial issues or where they live or who they live with. That's what I'm getting right here. When you get that three of pentacles in reverse, this person could struggle as well with uh, self-sabotage. Okay. Thinking that things will not work out when you get that three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay. So how is Cancer feeling about this person, this situation? How is Cancer feeling? Let's see Cancer's feelings, okay? Okay, whoa, the Two of Pentacles shout out. So you're still trying to figure it out as well. How is Cancer feeling? Yeah, Ace of Swords, whoa, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're still conflicted if this person is telling you the truth. Is this person being honest with me? That's what you're asking. That's what you want to know. Two of Pentacles, is this person being truthful ace of swords clarity honesty truth is this person being truthful with me i don't know i'm conflicted about it five of wands i don't know two of swords i don't know i can't see it okay i don't know if this person is being honest show me this person's intentions with cancer yeah six of pentacles reversed i'm telling you you guys this person, they feel like they're not able at the moment to give you equal give and take. Six of Pentacles, they could be losing money as well. Or this person is having to pay something or someone. This person is having to pay on something. They have a lot of bills. They could have debt. Six of Pentacles indicates debt when you get it in reverse, okay? This person could have a lot of debt to a family, okay? Ten of Cups could be taking care of family, family members, uh, children, another spouse, um, spousal support, child support. This person is in debt. Could be even like student loans I'm getting. Show me this person. What are their intentions? They need to pay off some debts. Okay. Two of wands in order for a new path to open up. Yeah. Queen of swords. Ooh, they want to come in, but ooh, they, they are a, a bit afraid. Okay. Eight of swords. They're overthinking because, um, they know you don't play games. Yeah. They, when they see that queen of swords right there, see, they respect you. Okay, Cancers, I've been getting that energy for you a lot. King of swords and queen of swords, y'all are a match. I already showed you king and queen of wands. You guys are a match. They respect you a lot. They feel like I see myself in Cancer, but I have got to get it together. I have got to work out these issues so I don't bring the baggage into the connection with cancer. I don't want all this baggage between us. Okay. Divine spirit, Holy spirit, potential outcome for this week. Well, okay. What was that? Something flew out Two of swords reverse. Yeah. Someone trying to come out of that state of confusion, trying to, uh, come up with a decision. Yeah. They're, they're not talking to you right now for swords because this person trying to come out of that confused state. 
of I don't know. They want to know. They, they're trying to figure it out, Cancers. Potential outcome. Yeah. They've made a decision about you. <laughs> They may they may not uh-huh look Empress mm-hmm yeah with the hard fonts Taurus is here yes with the Knight of Wands they've made their decision about you already that's what you may not know that they already see you as the Empress it's just that they feel like they need to step up yes see they're holding back strategizing Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords. They're holding back strategizing. A bit of overthinking. Yes, with the Eight of Swords, they may feel stuck or trapped. But this is how they feel. They miss you. Look, Devil Energy with the Three of Swords. They may hate where, I'm telling you, the situation that they're in, whatever third party situation it is, whether it's a lover, a family, debt, whatever it is, they have a source of stress here. That's what that is showing me. They hate what they could be going through or whatever is keeping the two of you apart because they feel the Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. They feel in love with you. You are their person. You have the key to this person's heart, okay? But they have to hang back because they're strategizing. They could be in a fight, okay? Court issues. Uh, this person could be trying to expunge a record, uh, trying to clear their name, all kinds of stuff. With that Five of Swords, that's what I'm getting, Okay? Someone could be fighting to get out of jail as well. I'm, I'm getting that. There's something with court that I'm getting here, okay, with the Five of Swords. But they see you as the Empress. If you notice, the Emperor did not come out. This person is not feeling like an Emperor, male or female, doesn't matter. I didn't see the counterpart of the Empress, which is the Emperor. I saw the King and Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Wands. So they respect your hustle, your mind, all of that, okay? They have a lot of respect for you, but they are not feeling like they're your equal as far as you being an empress and them being an emperor. Do you understand? Yeah. So let's come to this deck. If this person could say anything to cancers, what would they say at this time? If this person could say anything to cancers, what would they say? Whoa. The first card is sex addiction. Ooh, that may be a third party situation. Remember I said this person is not feeling up to par and it's coming out. This person may feel like they need to deal with this before they get with you. Okay, what else? Are you in love with me? Yeah, this person is definitely in love with you, but they feel a bit insecure about your feelings. How do you feel about me, Cancer? Okay, what else? isolation. Wow. This person is dealing with a lot secretly. Remember at the very beginning, I said a lot has been held back or kept as a secret or in the dark. Something has been held back from you cancers that you don't know about this person. This person is dealing with isolation or in isolation or isolating you away from them so they can deal with these addictions. Okay. What else? Look at that. You can't make this. Y'all, I'm still working on myself. They are working on themselves. Spirit is clarifying and confirming what was in the tarot. Look at that, you guys. I'm still healing from a bad breakup. Please give me some time. This may be the third party. I do want to say that, Cancers. This may be the third party that your person is dealing with or that's coming in between the two of you. Hurt. Hurt can be a big third party. A lot of people don't look at it as that. But if someone is still healing from an ex or what didn't work out with an ex, if they, this is what I say. Let, let, me, let me slow down. This is what I say to people when they're like, oh, you know, I like this person a lot. And it's because I counsel a lot of people. <laughs> I'm not a therapist or anything, but when you do tarot, you end up counseling a lot of people. And they're like, I like this person. I feel a connection and all of this, but this person is kind of backing away from me. What's going on? I guarantee you, you guys, this person is not over their ex. I don't care if they tell you I'm over them. I don't care anymore. 
you guys, especially if this is a man, men harbor feelings for their exes way longer than women do. And this is a misconception. People think, oh, men, they moved on so quick. They're sleeping with different people. So they're over there. At no, no, that is a distraction. Men don't like to deal with their emotions. So they think they're over someone and then it could be a year later, two years later, then they're still thinking about their ex. This person needs to cleanse their energy from a bad breakup. And like I said at the beginning, someone could be going through a divorce or have gone through a divorce and they're still dealing with the hurt or the residual pain of that connection. Do you see what I'm saying? Spirit had me slow down a little bit because it, it was a time to teach right there at that moment, you guys. Let's see what else. You are the love of my life. I cannot do this without you. Yes, they love you. They are very in love with you, cancers. And you may feel like they're not. But this person, they have so much that they're dealing with while they're in isolation. I'm telling you, this person, they have a lot to work on, you guys. That's what I'm seeing. And they don't want to bring all of that baggage into this connection. Let's get one more. Our love is sacred. Wow. Wow. Are you in love with me? Our love is sacred. You are the love of my life. I'm seeing a lot of love here. And at the bottom of the deck, wait for me. Cancers, that's the energy that you got in your last reading. If you didn't watch your last reading, go back and watch it and then watch this one, you guys. Wait For Me came out and here it is again at the bottom of the deck. This person wants you or they're hoping that you will wait for them, okay? Advice from spirit, divine spirit, holy spirit, advice, advice. Give us one card. There will be some type of peaceful resolution in all of this, okay? Or the advice is to have a peaceful resolution. Be assertive, you guys. If you're in contact with this person, for a lot of you, I see that you are not. Because I saw that they are not talking right now. But if you happen to be in contact with this person in some type of way, be assertive. Let this person know uh, what it is that you expect. If you're willing to wait, then let this person know. If you're not willing to wait, then let this person know. Okay? Be assertive, you guys. Wow. What a powerful reading, Cancers. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero, you guys. Again, happy birthday season. I hope you guys are living it up for your birthday. I hope you have amazing plans as well for your birthday season. Just a quick reminder, you guys, Sleeping Adam, my book, if you have not gotten it yet, don't forget to get your copy. It is available for purchase on Amazon for the ebook, <clears throat> Kindle version, and for the paperback version. Let me take a sip. Woo! <laughs> my throat, you guys, pray for me. So yeah, that is available, you guys. So get your copy today. It's all about dating, my mishaps, my mistakes, things that I thought I knew that I didn't, <laughs> and just a lot of misconceptions that I had, you know, and how I approached this particular situation in such a an off way. You know how you can feel a connection with someone and you just screw it up. <laughs> Oh man, so I put all of that in the book, how I, I thought about sex and the, just all kinds of crazy stuff that I just, oh my gosh, I messed up you guys and I am very honest about it in this book. So I hope uh, you guys invest in that book for yourselves or gift it to someone who you think will need it. Um, it will really bless your life and it will really help those who are younger than you as well. If you have nieces or nephews, struggling with dating you guys or looking for you know a partner or what a partner should be when they get older this book will help them with that you guys 
And also, Sophia Monet Apparel, if you haven't uh, heard, I do have a clothing line and that is available as well in the description box below. All of those links will be there. If you just want to simply donate or support the channel, don't forget to hit that thanks button uh, on the same bar as the like button. It's right there, the heart icon. Hit super thanks and you'll be able to donate to the channel. So I just want to thank you in advance. Thank you for indulging me and you guys take care. I will see you in your next reading. Bye.